All right, so let's talk about making money. Why make money? Well, there's a lot of reasons that people have for making money. Uh, a lot of them have ambition. They want to do great things, or they feel like they need to do great things to prove something to themselves, right? They have some internal childhood spawn desire to reach this great hilltop, whatever that may be. And that just naturally construes into putting themselves in the career. They have a lot of ambition. Another thing is greed, simple greed. They just want to make money. They want to make a lot of bling and say, look at all this bling, and I want to make more. That's, just, that, that's what drives them. Third thing is personal challenge. Some people are just very competitive. Um, they, they look at making money as a challenge. So they say, could I make a million by the time I'm 30? That is a personal challenge that they want to hit. And if they do that, it's like setting goals for yourself and setting milestones. Say you set goals for yourself, you continually hit them, you feel good about yourself. So they view that as a personal challenge. Can I make money? Can I make a set amount of, of capital to utilize to do something else, right? It could be multiple steps. I make money for the fourth reason. That's means to an end. I view money as a means to an end, a lot of means to an end. I can afford to buy an Xbox to play online with my friends. I enjoy that. That is a social activity that I enjoy. I live out in the middle of nowhere, so it kind of helps to have an Xbox rather than have to drive all the way downtown in Atlanta to hang out. It's very inconvenient. <clears throat> Versus turning the Xbox, hey, what's up, dude? You know, play some Xbox Live. The most important thing, though, a lot of people make money is just they love what they do. I mean, to quote Donald Trump, he said, if you love what you do, the money will follow. And that's what Donald Trump said. I mean, Donald Trump's really rich, very successful guy. So if you love what you do, if you're passionate about what you do, you're naturally going to fall into a role that's going to make you productive and make you going to you know, put into a job that you're going to make money. You just, if you love what you do, it's not work. And you're not working hard. You're just you're having fun hard. And that's, that's, that's where you want to be. Here's how not to make money. There's a lot of ways not to, but the first thing is no planning. You have no plan at all. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. It's like, I'm just getting a job. Are you getting a job because it's good? Is it, is it in a good locale? Are you looking to buy a house someday? What kind of lifestyle are you looking to live? Do you want to live, you know, like the, the Beamer and the Mercedes or whatever? Or, you know, are you looking to, like, live below your means but just be able to go out and party once in a while? Do you care? Is that something you care about? Do you have other expenses? I'm, I'm a big gamer. I don't travel a lot, but I have to buy a lot of electronics. You know, you got to plan for those expenses. Plan for your family. Does your wife have needs or significant other? Do you want to do some traveling in the next year? Have you factored that into your job? What type of job would allow that much time off and be able to fund those efforts? Are you going to do, you know, contracting to fund it? How is this going to work, right? So you need to have a plan. You need to plan on what you think you want to make and, and how you're going to get there. It's that, it's, it, it sounds simple, but it's not. It's really hard. you got to really, really think internally. The other thing is you don't have any caretakers. Caretakers are really people for your investments. I mean, some people really like to track their investments. They really get off on that. That's, that's their thing. People like me like someone else to handle my money. Just like an Edward Jones guy and my CPA. You guys handle this. How much do I need to pay? Is that good? Are you trying to lie to me about these investments, right? But it's just like a CPA. I make more money making money than I do tracking how's my money doing. You follow me? So it, it, especially in the flash and flex sphere, you're better off coding and do what you do best. If that's what you do best, caretaking your money, that's fine. But somebody needs to have responsibility of your money, of your capital, of your investments. Somebody needs to be a caretaker. You just need to identify who that is. You can accumulate too much debt. Our country, the United States of America in this case, runs off of debt. Our credit card companies you know, make a lot of money on people having debt. That they talk about the debt crisis. If you accumulate too much debt, you're not making money. You're paying just enough to pay off your debt. You owe someone else money. That is not your money. That is enough, uh, your money enough to survive, and then what's left over is given to someone else. BS. Accumulating too much debt is bad. Uh, no credit history or bad credit. If you'd like to get a lease for an office, maybe you'd like to hire a few designers, work with you, maybe start a design firm, can you get a loan? Do you have enough credit to do a loan? Is your credit bad? Do you know what's up with your credit? When's the last time you checked it? Do you know if you're capable of buying that? A lot of people don't, and they don't understand the repercussions of actually checking for their credit. So you need to identify, you know, if you have a credit history, if you have bad debt, and what are the steps you take, you, you can take to remedy that, or maybe you and your partner. House poor. This is a big one, especially in a real estate crisis. A lot of people bought houses they can't afford. They didn't really get counseling from people who have owned houses before, such as parents, family members, or some of the older generation who's done this before, and said, can I afford this house? Uh, you know, what kind of income do I have to have? 
what happens if things go bad in the economy? Can I afford this? Uh, what is my income after that? Can I utilize this income to, you know, for entertainment costs, housing, food? Can I enjoy myself? A lot of people didn't care. They just, and furthermore, they were taken in by a ride too. So they have a whole house, their entire paycheck, majority of it goes to it, and they have nothing left over. So you see their house, you go, wow, you must be rich. You're like, no, I just, that's all I got is my house. And it's, it's pure equity, right? Maybe. So another thing, the last thing is living above your means. If you can't afford it, don't buy it. If you don't have a budget for yourself, you don't know what you're allowed to spend. You need to identify a budget, you need to live below your means and invest the rest. That's what I suggest.